Hello guys and welcome to another studio vlog. So as you've probably seen in the introduction it's going to be a super busy week this week. We're actually away on Friday. It's meant to be our wedding on Friday but obviously it's been postponed for obvious reasons. Uh, so we're going on a little camping trip in Peggy. So we actually had a product launch yesterday we came into work and we released all the Froggo and Bear stickers and mouse mats and we also took lots of pictures of some seconds pin banners that we've kind of been accumulating over time and did a seconds enamel pin launch and oh my goodness i am totally blown away by your support it honestly means the world thank you so so much if you managed to make the enamel pin second sale thank you so freaking much this is probably the biggest amount of orders we've had in a day and it's completely crazy i cannot believe it thank you so so freaking much it still feels so amazing just getting like an order like i remember just getting like one order a week and that was super exciting oh my goodness i can't even believe what's happening and speaking about business and growing a business i want to thank today's sponsors supermaker now this is really exciting they reached out to me and it's actually a new book by J. Amy Schmidt. I am pretty fussy about who I have to sponsor this channel. When these guys reached out to me, I was like, I cannot pass this opportunity up. I know a lot of you guys are creators and artists or thinking about having your own small creative business. Now this is like a whole guide and kind of an inspirational story about Jamie Schmidt and her business and also tips to grow and start small creative business and it's super super cool. I've had a flick through the book and there's already some chapters that I really really can't wait to get through particularly this one that says power through trust your gut on how and when to make a big move. So this is super exciting because it goes through expanding beyond your products that you already do that maybe are your best sellers and then how to power through getting investors from starting at the very beginning and working your way up so this is super super exciting are you ready to go from maker to magnet jamie schmidt started out making natural products in her kitchen and in just seven years she went from farmer's market stand to international brand prices advice on sales branding product development social media marketing manufacturing PR and customer engagement from an icon of the American maker movement, Supermaker will show you how to turn your ideas into a plan, your passion into a profit, and your vision into a reality. I mean, if that doesn't sound like a guideline bible for small creative entrepreneurs, I don't know what does. And the fact that she is so relatable as well, she just started out doing farms markets, started out in the kitchen. This is super inspiring and I literally cannot wait to read it. So thank you so much Supermaker for sponsoring this video. Super excited to read this book, honestly. It sounds so inspirational. But now I have to get to work on packaging orders. So let's just get into the working day, shall we? So we've run into a little bit of an issue. There is literally nowhere for me to package stuff because the desk is really full. So I've just purchased two more tables to go here so that it's a much bigger space for everyone to pack on. So I'm kind of just like squished on the end here. I'm currently just packaging an order for Jack because it's his birthday. Over here we have a seconds table that we just kind of put everything on. Yesterday I spent the day photographing each and every pin banner um, and showing its faults and then coding them so that we knew exactly which ones uh, were to get packaged and everything. These are all the enamel pin seconds, uh, all bagged up and ready to go that Dean did. So he sorted all them out. And yeah, these are the froggy bear second, so it's time to get to work, I think.
but we've just finished packaging the orders and everything well we haven't finished we literally got around 60 or something done and we've got this oh huge bag of post here and then another bag and then there's another box over there i just wanted to say a huge 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 thank you it's so overwhelming i can't believe I just can't believe you guys. Thank you so much for keeping us busy. It's going to be a very busy week as I've said and we're going to probably package a lot more orders but it's now half five so it's time to head home and then I'm probably going to be back on orders tomorrow but I want to send off with some new washi tape. Dean has been having a go at me about this washi tape for the longest time so he's probably probably going to be really excited that I'm going to finally send off for it and I'm thinking of doing the frog on bear set as a washi tape set because I think that would make a really cute tape and then also Christmas tape and everything but for now I feel like catnip Santa. I'm going to head to the boss office, so I'll see you tomorrow. isn't working oh we'll have to go up to the fourth floor and heat the soup up how annoying so i've just finished editing a personal vlog and i've went upstairs to get my soup my dinner our microwave that i bought for this studio isn't working so i have to go up to the fourth floor and then i just sat upstairs and ate because uh, i have like like a seating area near the sink and I thought I might as well just sit there and then wash my pot straight after. But I'm feeling super, super tired today and I haven't, I've like got a whole long list of things that I need to get done, done. But I think it's hormonal. Like every cycle, there'll be a few days out of the month that I'll feel extremely tired. I think today's one of those days. It's not like a normal amount of tired. Like it's so strange because I had to sleep in today as well, but I just can't seem to get energized at all. Um, so I think I might call it a day and start refresh tomorrow because I'm much more productive when I actually have some rest, come in the next day, reset, and then I'm ready and good to go. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm just so tired. What is going on? Does anyone else get like this? So yeah, I'll probably see you tomorrow. I'm going to upload this vlog and then probably call it a day. Good morning guys and happy Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday morning at the moment. Today I'm actually going to get to work on designing some new washi tape. It's been a long time. I think it's been several months since I lasted. In fact, it might have even been a year ago since I last designed some washi tape. So I really need to get that done. And I really want to do the Froggo and Bear washi tape. I think the green of the Froggo and the Bear would look so, so cute. And I think I'm going to illustrate like a little bear head for the washi tape. And that'll look so cute. We've also sold out. I cannot believe it. We sold out of the sticky sheets for the Froggo and Bear already. So I need to get to work on making a big batch of them. They've been super, super popular, so thank you so, so much. I also think I might make like a washi sheet so people can purchase the washi sheets um, on like a sheet of sticker paper. I'll show you what I mean a little later on when I design it. Using the design that I'm going to send off to the washi tape so that I can get it on my saw sooner and you'll have like little strips that you can kind of peel off and everything. But that's what I'm going to get to work on. I also need to illustrate the book for Supermaker so I'm going to do that as well. I don't know if I'm going to do that today or if I'm going to do it tomorrow. So let's get to work on designing these washi tips.
Okay, so I finished designing the washi tape. I have actually made changes to this one. All my ink smeared. This keeps happening. This paper keeps curling in the printer and then causing loads of ink to go everywhere. I wasn't really happy with the candy cane lane one, so I did make changes. I'll show you in a second. Uh, but everything else turned out super cute. So I actually printed this on design cut and made like a sheet so I could see exactly how they were gonna look like uh, the size wise and as actual washi tape, just peeling them off. So I just set this up in Photoshop, like a file with the maximum Cricut size on it and then printed it out and got them kiss cut using the settings on the Cricut. The B, I just went around the outlines of the old one but uh, made him a little chunkier so you could see him a little better. I also re-illustrated all the little um, frog stuff just so that it would work well when it's a smaller scale. And yeah, this is how it turned out like. And I'm gonna have foil. So here where you can see these little stars, that is where it's gonna be foil. I've actually asked my patrons on a poll whether they would prefer silver foil or gold foil for the bee and the gold foil one. So this will all, these little stars will all be foiled. The frog hasn't got any foil on, but Candy Cane Lane has and Figgy Pudding has. So I'll just show you what we've changed. So this is the updated Candy Cane Lane washi. I just felt like the design was too chunky and didn't really look that nice. Uh, so I changed it, I made it a little smaller and I added these little stars, but they will be in either gold or silver. I think I'm gonna get them sent off in gold because I think that will look nicer. Um, I've just remembered that I haven't told him what color foil I wanted. But yeah, and then I just designed a washi tape sticker for the front of the washi tape. So we've got the figgy pudding one, we have the bumble butt one, we have Frog on Bear and we have Candy Cane Lane as well. So these will go on the front of the washi tapes. Uh, so this is what they look like. At the moment they're just like a logo and it's pretty simple but I really wanted to like add some illustrations and make it look a little cuter. But now I'm actually going to illustrate this amazing book, the Super Maker book, and I'm going to do a little illustration ready to share on my Instagram when this studio vlog goes live. I've currently read, I think, three chapters so far, and I am up to chapter number three, which is Say Yes Now and Figure Out How to Cultivate an Early Following by Listening to Your Community and Seizing New Opportunities. This book has been so freaking epic. Thank you again to Supermaker for sponsoring this video. You guys are gonna freaking love it. But I'm gonna get to work on illustrating this little guy. So let's get our iPad out and illustrate, shall we? and happy Thursday so last night I basically did the illustration for Supermaker I'm super happy with how the illustration uh, turned out and I included the little plant pots here in the illustration as well so I'm actually going to take a photo with these in ready to share to my Instagram also I totally forgot to show you I did I I can't remember if I showed you or not, but I did little frog and bear planner stickers and this is how they turned out like. So they're much smaller than the larger frog and bear stickers, but I used the tiny, tiny illustrations that I did on Procreate to create like a little planner sticker pack. They've also got these little mini washi tape strips, which are quite small, but I think 
they look really cute so I need to cut all these we've got his little froggy wellies and his little backpack also I have to show you this amazing blanket hoodie that I purchased from Amazon um, I went camping with my friends to Ullswater and two of my friends had these and inside is like this fluffy wool material i don't know if you can see oh no let me get it from underneath you might be able to see and it's basically a blanket hoodie and honestly i wore my friends during the day and it is so soft and comfortable i think this is actually reversible oh my gosh it was so so cozy and it's basically like a giant blanket but a hoodie and it feels like you're just wearing a warm hug so that's arrived for the camping trip that we're going on tomorrow how exciting also i'm still locked out with my tiktok account it keeps popping up that my browser has cookies disabled and i've literally tried everything and i still can't sign in so if you guys have any tips or you know how to sign in and you've had an issue with the cookies let me know because i'm still locked out of tiktok so i've been using the instagram reels so if you don't follow me on instagram the link is in the description i've been having so much fun doing the little creative videos and little mini reels but anyway Question of the week this week is, which fruit would you rather eat? Pineapple, which is super sweet and super juicy, or strawberries? Strawberries are actually my favorite fruit. I absolutely love them. Let me know in the comments. Let them go to war. Ah, no, they're going to war. Let me know which one you would pick. Thank you so much for watching the studio vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon. I'll also be taking you on my camping trip to Ripon slash Harrogate slash Rimmon Rocks. So if you don't follow my personal channel, the link will be in the description. I'll see you all very fucking soon. All right then. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>